Join me next in the show, the legendary, a former WWE Women's Champion, the one and only... Melina Perez. Hello, Melina. Hi! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so excited I'm so to meet happy. you. Me too, me too. How are you? <laughs> birthday girl. Personality. <laughs> oh, thank you. Happy birthday. Yes. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. I'll continue to celebrate the whole entire month. <laughs> oh, okay. So, do you, like, regularly uh, celebrate your birthday? Tell me about this day, specifically. Oh, about my birthday or today? today? Mm, your birthday. In general. Oh. Oh, for my birthday, like, I... I used to, like, growing up, I didn't celebrate birthdays. It's kind of like because my family, like, my parents were teenagers when they had us. Yeah. So it was me and my brother. So oh. we couldn't afford a lot of stuff. So we would share our birthday, so it would be somewhere in the middle. Oh. And his birthday is um, nine days after mine. Okay. So I never really celebrated on my birthday. Mm. So I believe, and I tell everybody... When it comes to your birthday, celebrate it. It's your holiday. Mm. You can get those free like gift certificates to go get something like an ice cream for free, a sandwich for free, whatever it is. Like utilize it because it's your day to celebrate yourself. Whatever the case, you know. I always say the little ins and outs about like, yeah, get a free Sunday. Okay. But in reality, it's to see, to be happy that you you survived another year. Mm. To be happy and be able to like enjoy celebrating yourself mm. because some of us always put everybody else first mm. so you know what take this time whatever birthday your birthday is celebrate yourself mm. because you deserve that don't don't you push it off don't like say oh well it's another year no you deserve to celebrate you mm. and i want to celebrate you that makes me happy Aww. that you're still alive on this earth well i so. I, I used to hate <laughs> birthdays but now i'm changing my opinion kind of <laughs> <laughs> one of my no, friends. Don't hate the birthday. Yeah, one of my friends tell me once uh, that birthday is just uh, another step toward death. So it just stick on my mind. You know? Yeah. <laughs> no way. Well, if you see it that way, then you're, you're not going to be happy. You're yeah, not gonna right. Enjoy the, we have the to look positively. Life. Yeah, <laughs> Melina. Um, did you remember the most memorable birthday you have ever had? Oh, my goodness. Uh, I'm trying to think, because ever since, ever since, what happened was, um, you know, granted, I mentioned, like, the, the, the match with Maris and stuff, but yeah. when I started finally celebrating birthdays where it was like, okay, I'm never going to not celebrate or do something, whether it doesn't have to be something fancy, it doesn't have to be with other people, I could do it myself, like, when I started taking a hold of my birthdays, mm. was actually, I dated this guy for, it was about for, for a month. Like, he wonderful, lovely person who's touched my heart forever, and we're still friends now. Oh. But um, he was the first person to teach me that, no, this is you. This is your day. And if you want to just lounge around, we'll lounge around. Mm. If you want to go out, we'll go out. But it's whatever you want. And I was like, wait, what? Wow. <laughs> I'm a person who lives for other people mm. and everything I've ever done was for other people that I never I never did anything for myself I just did whatever everybody wanted to do mm. and I never did it for me imagine so if you stick with him more than four months how many things you will be <laughs> knowing from him <laughs> <laughs> oh no great individual just because it never works out in or it doesn't work out in relationships mm. doesn't mean that that person's not a part of your life significantly can you be friends anything, after friend. after like relation is it possible that relationship oh after uh, to be friends after relationship yes yes it is mm. it's it's about how it's about how you see the world mm. to me um friendships are everything mm. and when it comes i think relationships tend to blur your mind where emotions get crazy and you get jealous and you get needy and yeah. all this stuff but then you realize oh no we're great friends and mm. all the other stuff is just you know that's just the craziness and mm. i don't know i guess i've learned to embrace friendships and be like it's because it doesn't work out doesn't mean that you cannot mm. still care about each other 
Mm. And when you can get some people you have relationships with, yeah. and you should never talk to them again. Never. <laughs> yes, right. I agree. <laughs> so in relationships, no. is is you like mostly the 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 face Melina, the baby face Melina, or the heelish Melina on relationships? Uh, no, no, I don't, I don't turn, I don't turn heel. Like I could never, I could never, unless somebody was really awful, like really awful to me. Mm. But no. Um, I'm usually I'm usually kind, and I think people get upset because if it doesn't work out, I say, you know what? It's okay. You go do you. <laughs> you go <Yeah>. do you. <laughs> and I wish you nothing but the best. Like mm. I don't I don't wish anybody bad. Mm. I really don't. If, if, it's never because I know that I did everything I could whenever mm. it's in relationships. I gave my heart. I gave my my love. I I asked questions, and I did everything without feeling. Did I like feeling like did I do something wrong or did I not ask enough questions? Mm. Did I not do something? Like, you leave relationships like, well, what if I did this? What if I did that? Mm. No, I asked every question. I tried everything I could. And if it didn't work out, it's not that somebody something's wrong with somebody. Mm. It's just you guys were not, like, the personality types. Yeah. It just, just doesn't fit. I agree. Nobody's I agree. at fault. Yeah. Nobody's at fault. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit wrestling. Melina, you had the we're great... A great rivalries with the great uh, women's performers like your rivalry with Beth Phoenix, uh, Maris, Michelle McCool, Nikki James, and others. If there is a specific one individual you just wanted to have more matches with, more storylines with, but you couldn't? Oh, Gail Kim and Natalia. Mm. I wish I had more matches with them, mm. like actual storylines, mm. so you could see everything unfold. Mm. Because we had great charisma together. Mm. So it's just, our, um, yeah, everything like between us, the magic between me, me and Gail and me and Natalia. You're a horrible friend. <laughs> she was. <laughs> In my mind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> and I love that everybody thought that was a storyline. Like, that just shows that, mm. you know, you can make something out of nothing. Yeah. And the, I we love didn't know the, the backstory of it. We just learned it in the match. Like, and you, you made a story from just five minute matches or something. So, <laughs> yeah. good to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that, that's like, I think that's the beauty of, um, Mil like, Melina, like me, and then working with an incredible character that that goes along with it and says, mm. yeah, let's do that as Gail. But I told, I was telling my brother, because through the reaction videos on my YouTube, mm. I I started realizing, like, I I used to be, I was very vocal, not just the screaming, mm. but I used to talk a lot of crap. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you, you can are. hear me say stuff, and it's like, look at me when yeah. I'm talking to you. <laughs> like, I would say stuff. So vicious in the ring. I love that. Yeah. Huh? So vicious and like, and we love that actually. Hill Melina is iconic. <laughs> I miss that character. <laughs> yeah, we miss it. And you're so sweet on on real life. So actually, before I watch interviews for you, I thought that you actually this character. <laughs> I think I, that giving you a credit that you play it well. Oh, thank you. People do believe that, and that's. It's like great but crazy because mm. it's great because that means my job, my acting, that was spot on that people believe it. Mm. But when, in my personal life, it's like everybody keeps bashing me as if I am that character. Yes. And I'm not. <laughs> yeah. And one person from the I past know. that you uh, dream to have match with, one person from the past, like before you uh, came to WWE. It's so hard because I love so many people, mm. but I, of course, I, I think I would say Sensational Sherry for sure. Oh. Because she's, our personality types, yeah. and our just like, larger than life essence, yeah. would be amazing. Like, I love her, what, like the things she wears, and yeah. how she acts, the charisma. And how vivid she is. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Uh, you have an incredible move set. Like your move set, very unique and very you. Uh, what's your favorite and your least favorite move from your moves? Oh my goodness! I don't think I have like the least favorite. Let's say it's hard to 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 get it done. Like it's it's hard move. You worry when you want to hit it to someone. Uh, yeah. No, I guess I don't. I don't really do 
do that. Mm-hmm. If anything, the, the thing that I worry about the most is I always try to protect people. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, that's the nature of this business, or, or this is what we're supposed to be doing, mm-hmm. is everybody wants to look aggressive, but I take care of people. So mm-hmm. I always, I, I think the least favorite thing that I've ever done <laughs> was I punched Mickey in the face. Oh. I felt so bad. She's so sweet. Like, she's like, you know, because it's wrestling and it happens, and I always take care of people. Like, I always, you know, make sure I protect everybody because I never want to hurt anybody. Mm. But there was this one live event, and it might have been in Puerto Rico, and I accidentally punched her in the face, and she started bleeding. Oh. <laughs> I grabbed her, and I put her in a headlock, oh. and I said, I'm so sorry. What are you thinking? <laughs> I'm like, I covered her, and I said, are you sure? And she's like, yeah, I'm good. And I picked her back up by her hair, and I said, hi, right, you see that? Oh she's my okay God. with it. <laughs> I okay. felt so good. And what's your favorite move on the other side? Huh? What's your favorite what? move? My favorite? Oh, my goodness. I want to say the sunset split, but then I also like the last call, because... The last call got a great reaction, but I think about the sunset, well, all my finishers. <laughs> yeah, all of it's them. It's just different. I like the flexibility part. Mm. So I love the flexibility of the sunset split and the, um, and, uh, let's see, the, the Amuda Lock. I love that so much because it, it shows off, like, my, my flexibility, mm. but the last call always got a great reaction. <laughs> yeah, 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 and very creative. So, um, is there is a favorite move you like to always take? Oh, any move. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> anything, I know. Anything, like, it was always, it always made me happy to try to, like, to make anything look like it killed me. Mm. So, even if it was as simple as a drop kick, I'm like, let's look like I almost died. Yeah. <laughs> When did you discover that you, that flick, flexible? Oh, my goodness. Well, I didn't. I didn't realize, I knew I could do the split, mm-hmm. but I, that's all. My friend, One of my friends in high school, she's like, hey, can you, who can do this? And she just did it. And I was like, I don't know. And then I tried it, and I was like, oh, I can do it. Oh. And then nothing <laughs> came from it. Like, I never did dance. I never did gymnastics. So you never trained and it? Then I, no. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's a gift, maybe. It. It's a gift. meant for wrestling yeah and then once challenge. I started doing it in wrestling I was like okay well maybe this will be a thing so then I challenged myself mm. and then started doing uh, flexibility stuff um, mm. the yoga to see how much more I could be mm. and I didn't even know I, my back had been that way I, I tried to do like what I wanted to do was um, because I watch a lot of martial arts films mm. so I just wanted to get out of the way by doing a half bend mm. I was like oh I don't know if I could do the full back bend and if, if so that's Trisha's thing Yeah. And then Trish saw me do the halfway thing. She's like, Melina, just do the, the um, matrix. And I said, no, but that's yours. She said, Melina, do the matrix. Oh. <laughs> and so I started doing it. And I was like, oh. <laughs> okay. And that's how beautiful her heart is, is yes. that she's willing to, mm. you know, she's like, here, you take it. And I was like, oh, what an angel. A lot of your moves has been now performed in WWE and other promotions by other girls. What was your reaction when you see this is, like, my thing? Uh, it's weird because um, some of the girls, like, some girls don't know, realize it. They, like, they would work with me and they're like, oh, I do this move and da-da-da-da. I was like, yeah, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> like, they don't know that I did it. Mm. And so maybe somebody taught it to them and then mm. some other girls know it and um, they're willing to work with it. Mm. And it's, I think it's cute. Like, I love it because... I don't take offense to it, and I really think that, I mean, I see it as they're my children, mm-hmm. and little bits of me inspires them, mm-hmm. and and that's how they build their repertoire, that's how they build their oh. style. It's just all about the love of it. Mm-hmm. So I see it as, like, they're my children. Mm-hmm. But when people try to say, like, oh, well, Melina didn't do anything in this business, I'm like, look at all of those girls, no. and even you guys inspired doing them. what I did. Yeah. <laughs> I did my part, yeah, and it's yeah. okay if I get a dollar or if I don't. Oh. When we talk about <laughs> Melina, we talk... It's a blessing. Yeah. When we talk about you, we talk about your style, your uh, outfits. 
your entering attires, they're really awesome and uh, as I told you, it's like you, very special. So who designed it? Who came uh, with the ideas of your looks? The feathers? Uh, oh, that's me! Oh. I, like, I had, I don't, I didn't have just one gear maker. Uh, whoever was able to, to make it in the moment, I was like, okay, can you do it? Because, you know, usually the guys come first. Like, they got their gear made like that. And me had to be on a waiting list, so I had to wait for, for different people. Mm -hmm. And just hope it got in on time. But I knew that, like, I love designs on the sides. I like to show, I wanted to show flesh on the sides. Even though it was horrible doing baseball slides because I'd get, like, mat burns. <laughs> but I had the crosses and I designed the crosses. Mm -hmm. uh, when it came to the feathers, I love burlesque. Mm -hmm. And that was just like, I want to bring it, like, uh, everything that I loved mm -hmm. in life, I wanted to use the, the stage, the WWE stage, mm -hmm. to, to perform in yes. that little bit as mm. if to be an extension of that mm. so i use the fans because i love burlesque mm. so much what was your favorite and look which one? Oh, the gear out of all the gears yeah oh my goodness it's always hard when you guys ask me these questions yeah i always go to <laughs> yeah. the wrestlemania with um beth and santino yes because i'm forever going to want a high-res uh photo of me with the fans mm. and like it was just like, it was just beautiful the way they had uh, the backlight, and I was just in one side of the stage. Oh. But I had this pose with the fans, and it's with the turquoise and the sparkles down the side. Yeah, I remember that. I was like, I love that one. <laughs> mm, it's very nice. Uh, you talk a lot about your um, possibility to be returned to WWE and have another match with them. Um, we heard a rumor like months ago that you will be back full time with WWE and then you shot it, you said no, no, no. So, uh, there is a possibility, what you think, like in your opinion, in your mind? Uh, if there was a possibility, of course, of course I'd want to do it. Mm. Like, I, like I, it's not about money, it's not like, it's about, of course, like a safety and everything, but at the same time, I don't know. I, I think after my father's passing, I just oh. want to make him proud one more time. And if there was an opportunity, of course I'd take it. Mm. Of course I'd take it. Without was he a fan dating. of you? Yeah. <laughs> um, when, when he passed, we went to his hometown and he talked to everybody about me. Like oh. he, he, he passed out posters, he passed out 8 by 10s So when we went to the to his hometown, everybody wanted to take pictures and stuff. And mm. it, it, it was clear how much how proud he was of me. And he told everybody how proud he was of me. Mm. And so I just wanted, I want, even though I know, no matter what I do, I don't have to go back to ever make him proud. Mm. I know I made him proud, you but did. it just feels like it would, it would means so much to be able to do that again for him. Mm. I'm sorry, I don't even make <laughs> you cry. Um, you were a champion. <laughs> You're a crier person, I know. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. You were a champion for uh, several times, like uh, you won the Diva Champion and the Women's Champion, and uh, you're one of the few women who take the two belts. I got a really weird question from the fans they asking you where where you put the belt when you win it like was you travel with it or <laughs> what yeah you have to take it with you everywhere oh so the rule of thumb is you have to hold it to you because okay. well not everybody this doesn't happen to everybody but i've seen it happen to people mm -hmm. so i knew i never wanted it to happen to me okay i, I made sure to hold it with me all the time because if you put it aside and you start talking and you just that's, a, that's kind of like disrespectful. Yes. And that's not taking care of something that's very precious. Mm. So people will take it <laughs> just to like scare you or to teach you a lesson. So I held it with me all the time. If someone so tried to, I, to, to, to steal it one time with you? Oh, no. Well, because I held it all the time. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I was just like, oh, no, no, not mm. with me. Not, I had a fear of the uh, happening. Mm. But just in case, like, you have to carry it on um, to carry it on airplanes with you. Mm. You have to, um, you know, drive with it. You take it with you everywhere. Mm. Uh, there's a lot of rumors about you, Melina. Like, uh, hundreds of rumors. Uh, is that bother you? It did in the beginning. 
wrestling because when you sign up for wrestling, mm-hmm. you just do it because you want to, like, do... Or I did it because I wanted to do something beautiful. Mm. And I wanted to, like, to entertain people mm. and make people happy. Mm. And I never... It never occurred to me about, like, how rumors would start and mm-hmm. how how people's opinions and what they say and what they do mm. can affect your life. Yes. I always thought, like, well, I know the truth, and mm. I'm a good person, and my family knows me, and as long as that that's real, mm. then nothing could, t- like, hurt me. Mm-hmm. But when you spend all your time traveling and being away from home, and you're always interacting with, with uh, the, un- the wrestling universe, mm. it hurts. It hurts mm. to have lies be put out there. Yeah. And, but... But then at the same time, I made it known that I need to get out of my shell and re-educate the people and show people who I am. Mm. Because people who are fake, you'll see those true colors. You'll see those true colors in time. They always slip up. And I just need to be me. And I will make mistakes. I, you know, I'm human. But as long as I'm doing good in this world and I know that I'm surrounding myself with positive people, I know that <laughs> I'm doing my part. <laughs> Awesome. So one of these rumors said that you uh, was supposed to be a tag team partner with Trash and John Morrison against Lay Cool and Dolph Ziggler at WrestleMania. Then something happened and you got changed with Snooki. Is it right or not? No, no, it's, it's so funny because, and it's a sad thing because um, people would think that was true. And they're like, well, Trish wouldn't appreciate it. I'm like, if you notice, like, go through Trish's, um, Twitter, mm. like, she, she, like, she comments on it, all my Instagram, mm. like, we're friends, and the thing is, is, like, yeah, there was a miscommunication, but the crazy thing is, is, it was somebody else, I was a heel at the time, mm. so why would I be with a baby face, like, Trish didn't take my spot because mm. I'm a heel, <laughs> I'm yeah. a bad guy, she's a good guy, so she didn't take my spot. Okay. And so she took she took another girl's spot mm. apparently like that's the rumor mm. but it was never mine like mm. I'm a, uh, if anything it was what Michelle and Layla would have taken my spot or whoever the bad guys are I would have tagged with them mm. maybe but this is the thing mm. it's wrestling mm. you're signed mm. up for whatever the mm. the WWE tells you to do you do it and there's me, also a lot of I've rumors been in between so you and WrestleManias. Like I've been in a lot of WrestleManias, and, and then a single I'm, matches too, not a only tag, mm-hmm. right? Um, Melina, so and also a there's a rumor between you and Lita. They said that things weren't good between you two in the backstage. Did you hear about it? No, mm. no. Like people ask me about that too. Mm. I'm like, no. I just think like, well, maybe we didn't spend a lot of time together, but I did my part, said hi was mm. always nice to her. Mm. She's just quiet, but she was never, like, mean to me or did anything bad. Mm. Like, she's always been sweet, so... Or not sweet, mm. just been cordial. <laughs> yes. You're so sweet, yeah, person, like, Melina. I'm so happy to talk with you. You're amazing <laughs> in and outside. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That means a lot. I always tell my, my family, I'm like, that's an extension of them. But their teachings... You know, uh, whatever they taught me gets passed on to other people mm. because that's their heart that yes. I that I showcase to the world. So thank uh, you. I'll tell my mom. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. And uh, absolutely, uh, you're now doing YouTube. You're doing reactions and stuffs, cool stuffs on your YouTube channel. <laughs> it's real Melina Perez, right? Or Melina Perez? Just real Melina. Real yeah. Melina on yeah. all yeah. social media platforms, right? Okay, follow yeah. and subscribe for now. <laughs> thank you so much, Melina. I have a great time. Thank, thank you. You're such a positive you're person. You're sweetheart. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Give me touch, okay? Everybody follow him. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>